I think the work behind what I'm about to say is gorgeous just because it took so much effort. So we corseted, or we've made corsets for the Guinness Book of World Records, Tiniest Wasted Woman. She, when we made the corset for her, she was about 16 inches around. She's now down to 13 inches around the waist. So you can imagine the disparity between her waist to her hips and her waist to her ribs. Um, and that's from 50 years of waist training. That hip to waist ratio that, I mean, it's, it's in nature, that perfect ratio um, of femininity, of um, traditional biological conceptual beauty, and she's just taken it to that extreme of that tiny, tiny waist. Well, I like a really gritty voice. Sounds like somebody's two steps away from getting a trach. Uh, so somebody's smoking for decades and then they start to sing, that's my jam. And I think a lot of people find that jarring or um, off-putting in some way, but I think it's really gorgeous and, and drawing. Yes, I would say the sisters. We're, many people look at us as grotesque clowns, but we are actually beautiful inside for what we do. We, we don't try to look like beautiful women. Obviously, look at me. <laughs> Nowhere near. Um, but but uh, what we do inside is gorgeous because we raise funds to fight cancer, breast cancer, AIDS, to fight for civil rights, gay rights, all that. Well, I think Alcatraz is really gorgeous. I mean, it's a ruin. It's something that it's falling apart, but when I look at it, it's a relic from history and I think it's gorgeous. Especially in the Midwest, you see the, the beginnings of what you know is going to be a major storm and storm clouds or the beginnings of a tornado, which can be horrendous, can be frightening, but in their natural beauty, there's still a sense of, of gorgeousness, gorgeousness to them. Uh, even in their fury, they can be gorgeous, if that makes any, any sense at all. You know, uh, but at the same time, they're frightening and very scary. To me, I think uh, maybe like a really shy and awkward people. Mm -hmm. You know, they when they talk, when they do things, kind of a little bit odd, a little bit bizarre. But to me, sometimes they are very, to me, they are gorgeous in that kind of way. Okay. Uh, and the bizarre way. And also things like, uh, I'm into the flow arts, so things on fire, moving, momentum. What are the flow arts? Like fire spinning, breathing. When it comes to spinning, the sound, it, it shuts everything out. And it's almost like meditative, essentially. And the sound, it's like a whirring sound. You can't hear anything else. It's just you. You and physics. Um, well, I know how to handle, I, I found in San Francisco I'm pretty much alone, but I know how to handle uh, handguns. I just, I was raised in the military, so I guess it, it rubbed off in that way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's actually, you know, I would say study handguns first, and then go to a range and see how miraculous the damn things are for such a simple, simple piece of metal. I like going to fish markets and meat markets. I think it's really cool to see things in their natural state before they come to the supermarket. That might be a little weird. <laughs> uh, pidgin English, a type of uh, language that's spoken Hawaiian, I think it's sometimes uh, cast as, uh, you know, it's, as a non-standard language that's looked down upon. To me, it's gorgeous. I think of a gorgeous, I think, because Dolores Park, they're changing, you know, the bathrooms around there. And at one of the events, I was waiting in line and I took a picture of the man that was at the urinal and he has this rainbow tutu on and like, from the, it's just, to me, that's like a gorgeous picture and they're getting rid of that bathroom now. You know. That bathroom was disgusting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think like things like the ocean is gorgeous and there's an intensity that can be kind of ugly, you know? Like I just recently saw um, two children, I was out at Ocean Beach and I saw two kids getting sort of a little too deep into the water and getting washed out and it was really, really scary people were just running into the water and trying to save these these two kids, and they did. And that was just, I mean, the ocean is both scary and gorgeous. And that experience was scary. 
and my heart was racing. But it was beautiful to see all of these people running into the ocean and risking their lives, really, to save these children. So I guess I would say that was gorgeous. Well, I think graffiti is amazing because it's intrinsic and it speaks about what people are feeling and actually doing. And it's real and authentic and it's raw. And it's also so craftful and artfully done. It's like a beautiful painted face. You know, it's really, it's a talent and it's art, in my opinion. Somebody sent, a person sent, the person you love sent, is the most gorgeous thing in the world. Because it's, it's so much more than like, you know, beauty. It's, it's, it's something, that's, something that's part of you. I really, really like spider webs. Spider webs. And especially when spider webs have dew drops on them. Um, and then it's early morning and you have the light shining in on the spider web and the dew drops and it creates some type of angelic, almost divine intervention-y type of scene. I love that. I like, a, I like the Clark shoes, those uh, wallabies, which people hate and sometimes a lot of people wear just because they're comfortable. And I'll talk about how they're crafted and how the shape is really interesting to me and how it's wear pattern. So I'm a street style photo photographer, so I'll basically take a photo of anyone wearing a denim jacket and Clark shoes, and if they wear both of them, I'm like orgasmic for the beauty. So um, that I'm like, wow, that's really gorgeous. God, I can't think of those things. The things you wear around your belt to keep your money. Fanny packs. Fanny packs, for instance, are, are really tacky, but they can be gorgeous too. Um, broken windows. Broken windows. Broken windows are weirdly gorgeous. I think just sort of the fact that they've transformed into something totally different than their original purpose and they're normally accompanied with graffiti and street art and they've just the the transformation from something that's so whole to something that's sort of broken and tattered just shows you you know how fragile the state of everything can be